I would just like to apologize beforehand. So, I'm a senior in high school. Graduation should be coming up soon, but it's not because, you know, reasons. And um, I plan on going to art school. Actually, I don't plan on it. I am going to art school. So, I am planning on attending art school in the fall. And I figured, why not, since I have the free time, since school is technically no longer a thing, um, to make a video about my portfolio because I applied to three different schools, um, Kansas City Art Institute, Minneapolis College of Art and Design, and Savannah College of Art and Design. I will be attending Minneapolis College of Art and Design, so that's fun. So for the portfolio. So basically, same portfolio for all three schools, submitted in the same way, just different slide rooms, and KCAI for some reason like doesn't use slide room. So I had to manually re-upload everything onto their website, but it's fine. So some are digital. The first piece is digital. So digital ones and pieces that are way too big for me to carry down here to the office I'm recording in, or I just can't find them. There's like one or two I've lost, but it's fine. I saw the photos, so I can just like, they'll be like here in this general area, so you'll still see them okay anyways so the first piece i submitted is this one here it is a digital painting of tom holland the great spider-man um yeah it was the first kind of digital portrait i've ever done i was just kind of messing around in my senior art class not my senior art class my portfolio class for high school and I didn't really want to do much, so I'm like, I'll just do a quick, like, sketch of Tom Holland. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll, like, make it of a digital painting and see how it turns out. And it honestly is probably one of my favorites I've ever done, if not my favorite piece I've ever done. Just because I think it turned out really well and it, like, has that look like it's definitely been hand-drawn, like, not hand it's been drawn, digitally painted. But it still looks realistic and for the background I did like the neon bright blue which I really like and originally I had it red instead of black around the edges but I just like I thought the black looked better and made the blue pop. So I have that and it's just kind of titled Tom Holland Portrait because as you will see throughout this video I am terrible at labeling pieces like it is the worst thing. So on to the next piece. Okay, so the next piece I have is called Save the Bees, and it is this one right here. It was kind of a, I don't know what you'd call it, like an illustration, I guess, kind of being like, hey, like, save, save the bees, obviously. But I got a gouache set that I really wanted to try out, so I'm like, okay, what's something I can do? Because I plan on going into illustration. For college that's I plan to have that as my major so I'm like okay I'll do like an illustration type deal and like I really liked this to begin with but now that I look at it I'm like it's all right I might do it better in the future just because there are definitely some things I could fix but if you can see I added like that like shiny metallic paint but yeah so what I titled this was save the bees and I said, for this piece, I wanted to show as us humans, we don't take care of our planet and the bees are dying, which is a problem because if you've seen the bee movie, you know why that's a problem when bees aren't around. And so this alien spaceship comes to Earth and they're like, okay, humans are not doing their job, so we need to do it for them. Let's like get these bees out of here and we'll take them home and like take care of them and then release them back into the wild and so yeah that is save the bees okay my next piece will go here it is a sheet still life i did when i attended minneapolis college of art and designs pre-college summer session <laughs> back in 2018 summer of 2018 which i loved and like Kind of knew I wanted to go to MCAD after I did that because it was a great experience and I met a lot of great and nice people. 
Um, so like the last day of our actual like classes, my instructor had us, or he didn't have us, he pinned up a sheet and shone light onto it and it was like the first thing I've ever done like that and I honestly really liked how it turned out. And just kind of a side note for that, I've never done like a professional like drawing class with like charcoal and newsprint and all of that so like the whole experience was super exciting because I've never done anything like that so I feel like for my first time doing still life or something like that I thought it was pretty decent I would probably if I could I'd fix some things about it make the shadows a little darker and such but in honesty it was probably one of my favorite pieces I did in that three weeks the animations I did was not but that's fine I just figured out animation's not my thing and I'll be doing illustration instead, which is great. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was done in charcoal and it was like a big 19 and a half by 25 and a half piece on, I think, gray tone paper. For the next piece, I have this, <laughs> it's so small, I have these like monochromatic mountains, I guess you call it. Um, it's super tiny, as you can see, and I painted it on August 10th of 2019. Um, I think I got an Art Snacks box that had, like, this tiny paper in it. I'm like, I don't know what to use it for, but I just got the Liquitex, um, acrylic gouache. So I'm like, oh, I'll use that. Like, I'll just figure out how to work it and stuff. So I'm like, I really like this purple color, so I'll just do, I'll add water different amounts to the shades to see what I get. And I really liked the idea of mountains and having like um these were supposed to be telephone wires but I don't know if you can really tell and then like trees and stuff right there but I honestly really like this piece um even though it's tiny it's probably one of my favorites and if I could make it bigger like on a bigger scale I definitely would but I think it was just nice to work on something this small because I've never really worked on something this small before so yeah, and it's actually two and a half by three and a half, so pretty tiny. Okay, next, my self-portrait. I did this in my senior art class, which is a different class from my portfolio class, and we had to print out a picture of ourselves, and personally, I don't, this face does not take photos very well, so I'm like, I'll use a Snapchat photo I took. So I did the one with the deer filter. Do we look alike? It's when I didn't have bangs. But yeah, so um, she had us do this piece and she did something on her, on Photoshop, the teacher did, to show the different like shades and stuff. So she said we could pick one color to do or, and she's like, or you could do it in black and white. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it in black and white. How difficult could it be? Very. Anyways, I was very scared to do this piece because one, I'm not good at realistic faces and so I was nervous and I just don't like drawing my face so I was kind of excited for this. I kind of did cheat a little because I purposely picked a photo where my eyes were closed but I did have a hand in there which was kind of tricky but yeah, I like how this turned out. I'd probably do the background different because it's white but it looks like it's not finished because it's white so yeah that's about the only thing I change out of it um and this is a 12 by 12 I think it's canvas paper so yeah there's this okay <laughs> this next piece <laughs> is my interior space which I had to redo this piece because the first interior piece, interior piece, interior space I did was I wanted to be too ambitious. That's just me, too ambitious. Um, and originally I wanted to do a drawing of the Slytherin common room because that is my house by description from the book in Harry Potter and if I have a photo I'll put it here but I think I threw that piece away because I hated it so much and so that was the first piece I did in my portfolio class and the teacher had me do it on a giant illustration board with colored pencil 
and if you know illustration board it's very smooth so colored pencil does not work the best on there and I still hate myself for doing it in colored pencil and I spent so many nights up working on that thing because it was taking forever because it was giant anyways sidetracked my interior space is kind of based off of like a bedroom which I wish was my bedroom but definitely not so this was done in watercolor I don't remember what watercolors I think just like the um Windsor Newton and maybe some Daniel Smith but yeah so this is my interior space this is supposed to be like a window but I don't know if I really did that well but yeah a window with like looking out onto the lake with mountains and then we have like a banner and some posters up top and then a potted plant because I love my plants I have like 20 succulents and then the bed with a blanket and some pillows and notebook and phone with headphones and yeah I originally liked the idea definitely would change some bits now that I look at this again I probably changed like the blanket area but overall it's not bad it was my first like giant it's not giant but it's a decent sized watercolor painting so that's kind of nice it is a 11 and a half by 16 and a half paper and it's on arches paper so yeah there's that okay this next piece is my absolute least favorite piece I have not I have ever done but my least favorite piece in this entire portfolio and looking back I really wish I took this out of my portfolio my neighbors are right there mowing but it's fine okay um sidetracked okay so this is my least favorite piece out of my entire portfolio and <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking like it just I feel like it's finished like in my head when I finished it it was finished but now it doesn't look finished to me and if I had the chance I definitely would not put this in my portfolio now that I look back I would definitely think my portfolio could have done without it but trial and error I guess so I did a colorful portrait of just a random guy I found off of Pinterest and it was the first time I've ever used gouache so I was like, ooh, I'll use gouache and I'll like use all the different colors. So I used like almost all the colors in the hair and then the face. Honestly, the face isn't terrible, but it's the eyes that I think bother me the most out of this painting and the hair. The hair looks kind of weird. For the colorful drops, I either took my gouache and watered it down a whole bunch or I took my liquid watercolors and I would put like a decent sized drop on the paper and then take a straw and just kind of blow at it and I kind of I like the way the background looks honestly the, like splatter effect I really like that because I don't know I just thought it was fun since everything else was so colorful I might as well make the background colorful so that's probably my favorite piece or my favorite part about this piece but yeah definitely think I could have kept this out of my portfolio next piece <laughs> um um is this still life I have it is very small not very small but it's small and I set up a still life in my room on my desk and I kind of we have like a sewing light which is anyways so I set that up and I just kind of drew it from my bed it's not terrible but it's not great either I definitely could fix some things about it um yeah so it's like a mason jar I had a pencil sharpener and a mannequin leg with I think it was like a cord that I had going with lights on it but I did not draw the lights but yeah I don't think it's terrible it was the first time I've done a still life since when I went to the pre-college summer session thing so yeah I did that in like December of 2019 so for this one I did a clown tessellation because I took a online math class at SCAD when I thought I was going to attend there but I'm no longer not so kind of a waste of that time but it's fine because it's only like 10 weeks and so for one part of it they wanted us to do a clown tessellation tessellation I don't know how to pronounce that correctly but yeah so basically what it is is I took a six by six square 
and I drew design, cut it out on one side, and then transferred it to the opposite side that was still flat and uncut, and taped it, and then I had to place it on a, I think I used an illustration board for this. It was 16 by 20, because there was like a size requirement, and you're supposed to place it properly on there, where all you have to do is just shift it around, and it should fit the entire piece of paper with any extra gaps, and that is what actually it happened to work out and so you had to turn that random shape into something and I did not know what to turn that shape into and I was looking at it I'm like you know what it kind of looks like a clown with like giant crazy hair so I'm like you know what I'll do that I'll make it a clown so I used the I think it was acrylic gouache by Liquitex and yeah, so I just kind of did that, did different faces for it. I think some clowns turned out better than others because I was kind of rushed towards the end of this. So yeah, I was kind of rushed towards the end because I was due like that night and I like just started that night. So I was a little bit rushed, but I, I think it turned out okay since I've never done it before and it's kind of an experimental piece. So this one I think is my oldest piece I have in my portfolio and it was from 2017 which was my sophomore year in high school and I did we had to do okay cut okay so this next piece is my oldest piece in my portfolio which is 2017 from my I believe first semester sophomore year and it was like an introduction art class all students had to take before you could take other art classes so the teacher had us to do like learning how to shade with pencils and stuff which I kind of already knew how to do but I honestly kind of liked how it turned out um definitely not my best but it's not my worst either um I think I've improved a lot since then doing stuff like that like realistic but yeah I thought I'd include it just because it was something I had that I was somewhat proud of so why not put it in there um okay the next piece I did was definitely an experimental piece but also at the same time a requirement by MCAD I had to do and it was for a landscape and originally I didn't know what I wanted to do but junior year of high school for spring break I went on a mission trip with my school down to Leesburg Florida it was an experience but I took a lot of photos and I found this one photo which I'll put here of a dock that was at the place we were staying at with some trees in the background and I really liked that area like I spent a lot of time on the dock there um hung out there and I really like this photo is one of the best photos I took so I decided for my landscape I got well okay gonna back up a little for Christmas I got a set of chalk pastels which I've used before but like in elementary school so like not like knowing how to work them so I was like okay maybe I'll do a piece in chalk pastel because I've never really done one before I it's been a while since I've done one so why not like just show that I can do different mediums throughout my portfolio so I took the photo that I had from Leesburg and I did a chalk pastel of it and I struggled with this piece honestly I really did because one chalk pastel is somewhat difficult to work with it's not my favorite but um so I was trying to learn how to use it while doing this piece and it was kind of a detailed piece but kind of not and yeah looking at it now definitely think it turns out better than I originally thought it did definitely could I would do things differently but yeah for like my first official chalk pastel piece I thought it turned out pretty good okay for this piece it is a digital piece so i will put it here it is a cloud i did when i first got my ipad and we were going to i think a family reunion type deal and i didn't know what to draw so i was like i'll just draw a cloud because drawing and painting clouds for me is super fun and something i enjoy doing so i'm like okay i might as well do it digitally and see how it turns out so i took a photo off of pinterest and i kind of used that as a reference of it 
in like not really like cloud shapes for it but I guess but more of like the colors I used it as a reference just to kind of see how it turned out and honestly I really like how this turned out and I think I made a print of it because it looked super nice I'm like oh I wonder how it looks as a print yeah I did so I did a print of it and I thought it turned out really nice but of course I just uploaded the um, digital but yeah this is the print it doesn't look exactly the same as it does there's also a glare on it but yeah so I did that piece and yeah it was just kind of like an experimental cloud study thing I guess so yeah there's that oh for this next piece it is a skeleton still life I did when I was up in Minneapolis for the summer session um we had just a still life of skeletons and I think this is my favorite still life I've ever done just because I like the comp composition of it I guess um yeah it was fun to do it was on like giant newsprint and I did it in charcoal and I don't remember how much time we had to do it but I remember I was working on it and like for the spine it was difficult just because the way I was angled I could like see directly through it so it was kind of hard to get that correct but the instructor came around and he was kind of impressed that I was able to do it since it was like one of the most difficult places to be for it but yeah I think it turned out really nice and yeah that's all I have to say about that for my last piece I have a watercolor painting I did it's kind of an illustration I guess well it is an illustration I just kind of want to mess around with the idea because I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about um stairwells they find in like the woods and stuff so I'm like oh that's such a cool idea originally I was gonna have it be like a stairwell in the background I'm like well what if I have it like a dark wooded path and this girl standing in there and she's looking down it so that's what I did and I did it in a, um liquid watercolor and honestly I kind of like how it turned out I probably would fix a couple things but yeah I think I think it's I think it's good that is the end of this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was useful because I know I watched these type of videos when I was applying just to see what other kids portfolios looked like when they were applying to art school and yeah I plan on making more videos in the future maybe I don't know what I have a couple ideas I'm thinking about um I might do a workstation tour like work room art room tour type deal we'll see um so so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of videos you would like to see, comment down below. If you have any questions or just anything really about this, like if you've already submitted, if you've applied, if you've got accepted, or if you just have tips for anyone who's applying and stuff, um, comment down below. So yeah, like and subscribe. And yeah, I think I'm going to be trying to do a video, maybe a couple of like my favorite art supplies of the month, um, pieces I've created during the month. I definitely think that'd be something fun and I don't really think I've seen anyone do that before. Just kind of like what I've created throughout the month, what I'm working on. I think that could be fun. Um, yeah, so if you have anything you would like to see me do or record or talk about art wise, I'd be more than happy to do that. I definitely want to start posting more. Um, there's a small chance I might be doing art vlogs. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have anything to say. And I will see you guys in the next video.